Hello everyone, this is Mayang Sangvi and I am back with another Framework Manager tutorial and in this video we are going to create a FM package and then finally we are going to publish it on our Cognos connection. Okay. And before creating the package I want to create shortcuts. Uh, I think this is duplicate. So let me delete this and I want to rename this product language filter and q it like this and finally I want to create shortcut for this create shortcut and I'm going to place this in my final presentation layer In total and net profit okay and now it's time to create a package for this I'm going to right click on packages and create a package and I'm going to give it a name go cells as the best practice always provide a proper description and script screen tip so this is um, go cells package for analysis on product sales or say revenue generated by selling product sales uh, I don't know whether my spellings are correct or not and sorry if any spelling mistake is there okay, uh, in screen tape uh, let's say co sales product sales package it's time to click on next and I don't want to show anything in my data layer I want to hide everything from my logic layer and I want everything visible from my report layer click on next and select the set of function that will be available in this package I want a function only from Informix because we are using Informix database. So uh, all other function, I'm not going to use other functions. So remove all the remaining functions and use only Informix. Click on finish. You have successfully created your package. Would you like to open the publish package wizard? Uh, yeah, uh, yes, I want to publish it. And right now, I don't want to perform any versioning. And how to use this feature? I'm going to explain this in my future videos. For the time being, just uncheck this and click on next. And all this feature, I'm going to user access and administrator access I'm going to discuss in future versions for the timing just click on next and we are ready to publish it and before publishing always verify your model okay, exit this wizard click on finish and I think we have warnings but we don't have any error message so we are good to go just click on close it is published successfully and what is the location of our package our package location is says our package is available inside public folder okay no issue so let me open Cognos connection this is my Cognos connection and I want to open IBM Cognos connection and here is our first FM package published on Cognos connection so launch 
report studio in report studio just select go cells and right now my pop-ups are disabled so I have to say show this everything uh, every time mm -hmm. try again and now finally my report studio is open successfully uh, I want to create a new report I want a blank report uh, it will take some time to load the package components so we have to wait okay, if it, will, it is taking too much time then you have an option cancel it and again click on refresh Okay, finally, our package loaded successfully, and let's. It's time to let's say I want retail name. No, I don't want a single tone. Uh, I want a retail name, and I want net profit. And let's say order it. In order to close it, and it's time to run our report. Our report is running. Your yeah, report is running. and this is our report with net profit and this is inside our query subject this is the net profit column available here mm, here uh, okay and finally I want to remove this and it's time to use our stand alone calculation and execute our query once more okay I think now you are able to understand what is the difference between stand alone and embedded in case of filter and calculation so I covered everything as a part of this video in this video I want to show how to create a package and then we have to publish the package in Cognos connection so that's it for this video if you have any doubts just leave a comment I will try to reply as soon as possible with proper resolution thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe feel free to share and see you guys in next video